In every sport, there are many people that are good at the game. There are far fewer that are great. And then there are those precious few that go beyond great. Those that are so immersed in the sport that it consumes them. They are the specialists. My name is Brandon Story. I've been guiding Osceola hunts here in South Florida for 16 years. Started when I was 21 years old. I got tied in with the regional director from the NWTF down here, Zach Morgan. Uh, he was doing some hunts with Mossy Oak. They were looking for a new piece of property to do some videos on and bring some clients down. And um, after a few years of doing some hunts with Mossy Oak, uh, Bill Zering had come down from Cody Turkey Calls and. He had done a lot of help with showing me how to call and understanding the turkeys and stuff and, and seeing the value of the Osceola turkey for the first few two or three years with doing those hunts, I realized that it was something that was a very small area where you could get these from. And it was something that if you could take care of it and really exploit it and you know make the best out of it, then you could really have something that people would want to come down and be a part of. Uh, so we started picking up more properties and I started learning more about the turkeys and more about the Osceolas. And, here we are 16 years later where it all started. Uh, the total process and the preparation for the Osceola hunts comes with a, it's a, it's a yearly process. It's not something you can just do for six months. To be successful, and we try to be 100%, I, I, the worst thing to me is to send somebody home without what they came for. And that's where you know the preparation to be a perfectionist, to make sure everybody has a quality hunt that steps into camp. You have to know where the turkeys are at, how many you have, where their feet are hitting the ground, um, you just can't know you have turkeys. You gotta know everything about those turkeys before you ever attempt to even hunt them. There's really nothing that can compare to the true South Florida Osceola turkey. When you go into his environment and you change something, he'll notice it quicker than any other turkey I've ever seen. But to me, they pay attention to detail of their surroundings. Um, they're very weary and they know what's going on at all times in their environment. Uh, we take it one step further than just knowing where the turkeys are and giving them good habitats. We improve their habitat by mowing strut zones, uh, clearing roads with you know tractors pushing up brush piles to where they have good access in and out of the fields and out of the woods where they want to go. Making sure they have good food sources all year long, whether that's supplemental feed or food plots, uh, so where they can you know raise the next generation each coming. And then just getting in there and doing burns, controlled burning in areas. So you just don't have you know, land, you want to go in and improve that land to make it the best you can for those turkeys and that actually puts them in the areas where you want them to be. Um, I think that's where the big part of the preparation to be successful and to show all these hunters quality hunts every time they step into the woods, time after time, all season long, year after year, is not over harvesting, not over booking, and knowing how many turkeys and where they're at and what they're doing. Being a specialist to me is someone who loves what they're doing more than anything else they really do. Um, has the drive and the want to to get up when they're tired and go do and scout and I plan on just keeping on doing what we're doing, getting better at what we're doing and just show people what South Florida has to offer with these Osceolas.